Hey folks, this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors and uh, today's January the 5th, it's Saturday and just wanted to share with you here a little bit that I'm going to be running a trap line uh, starting Monday. I'll set it. I'm going to set some, a bunch of snares. Love to set those snares. So we'll... Uh, uh, surely keep you posted with all the uh, fun and adventure and uh, if we have any success we'll keep you posted with that here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around here now and show you a couple of my snares if you hold on. Okay here are a few of the snares that I've, I'm going to be um, take it along with me I've got more than enough there of course we make our own snares or and or cable restraints if it's necessary um, over here here in my snaring bag got all the paraphernalia down there that I need and then I make my <clears throat> extension cables I always put an extension cable on every snare. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that copper tag. I put all of my name tags, which is required uh, by state law. I put all the name tags on the extension cables um, instead of on the snare itself. Because, uh, you know, it is the law and we have to have our... our traps tag so every set has a name tag on it plus two I have these snares already made these are cam locks I use cam locks on these <clears throat> these are washer locks all of these are washer locks as are these these are fast. You want to talk about fast. Of course, I load these snares to where the, once they're touched, they're going to fly across there around the animal's neck. And these are the Thompson locks. I like these two. Uh, cam lock, washer lock, and the Thompson lock are my three favorites. So we're going to go ahead and get off here and... Um, like I say, the 7th, which is Monday, I'm, uh, Lord willing, I'm going to go ahead and set up um, <clears throat> excuse me, the trap line, and then uh, I'll do some videos on some of that there to show you how I set up my snares, um, different ways for different situations. Um, but uh, I'm not running a super long line this time. We normally ran a 150, 200 mile trap line, a uh, long line. But uh, I don't do that anymore. The But I love to trap. So we get out there and enjoy the great outdoors that the good Lord has given us to, to enjoy. And... Uh, manage that's a part there that uh folks tend to forget we're actually managers of god's property so we need to take care of it uh, so that it will thrive um so you have a great day uh god bless you watching stephen's family outdoors down here at the farm checking snares and uh, we pulled up and see the red clock. I'm going to go back here and get my trapper to help her. Okay, it's another big male and uh, as you see, I've got him by the hips, and as I explained to you before, that I'm setting for coyotes, so my 
loop is 10 inches um, and I'm about 9 or 10 inches off the ground so he must have jumped through and uh, his back legs caught it and closed it up on him <coughs> and uh, of course it's not a, a deadly uh, catch like that but it does hold them here until I get here and can dispatch them humanely so uh, if you look here over here it's an old cattle trail that when the snow was on I found uh, coyote and fox tracks coming through on this trail here now he's got it maxed out pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and dispatch him and uh, I'll sit the set back and show you how it goes have a great day back at this uh, fox catch. I wanted to show you how this is working. Okay, you see the trail right in here comes through, goes out to the back of this place here. The funnel's down right here so this is an excellent spot and uh, it dispatched the fox real quick after he tangled up so I'm going to go ahead and remake this set and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get finished okay here's my final remake that's the uh, path that the canine will have to take through right here there's my snare see if I can get a little closer Here's my catch. Another nice male. Mr. Red. Okay, folks, I'll go out and tend to him and remake this set. Have a great day. 
This is the second red fox that I've caught here. There he is. He's still alive. Now I did catch him by the hips because I have this set in a 10 inch loop for coyotes or fox. If I was setting for coyotes alone it would probably be between 10 and 12 inch loop. I wanted to downsize so I could catch both fox and coyote. Well this is the second one I caught here. Red fox that is. And uh both of them by the hips and still alive. Now, the snare was set right here. Of course, he's got it tore up, and I'll have to straighten it back up. Alright, let me tend to him or her. Okay, here's the remake of that fox set. I just caught that red fox. Got about a 10 inch loop and got it uh, fenced off back the way it was pretty pretty close to original ready for the next one to come through it's a JW Stevens family outdoors You can see we got a we got a uh, tunnel. Sorry if the sun's so bright in there. I'm trying to see the screen here, but we got a tunnel right there, as you can see by his foot right here, folks. Watch. One in right there by his foot. I see it. And coyote came up last night. Got it right there, see it? Yeah, it came up last night. And, uh, pardon me for the zoom up close, I zoomed the wrong way. Yeah, it came up last night and uh, chased a rabbit through the hole. So he's gonna go ahead and set a snare there. Try to catch him. Fox and coyotes will use that trail to run now that they know it's there. We got a few more trails down there. We might go set some snares in here if we can get some stuff worked out. But stay with us, folks. We'll show you the after results in a minute. Oh man. Folks, if he comes to that hole, he's toast. It is. Let's get down at the level that you watch where he's going to go That's through. That. Look at that. They're big for a fox, but he will uh, probably hip snare him if he goes through. But there it is. We're after the coyotes. All right. Sweet. He done if he comes back. Oh, that hurt. Brush the tracks out a little bit. Alright, we're back with you folks. We're gonna, as you can see, 
where dad's standing on the right here you have the fence notice you have the fence and every all the brush trees everything where dad is at right now is a gap it comes through and there's actual fox and coyote tracks coming through through that gap so uh, up this way as you can see is more more fence and brush as you can see the fence and so what dad's doing now he's narrowing these suckers down right here to catch them watch how easy and efficient and quick you can set a snare folks and, and they work in cold weather too so it's not like ice or nothing's going to bother them because if it does get a little bit of ice you can just shake them off and ready to roll you can see notice when he fastened the cable what he did there see how high he's off the ground always want to go high less of a tendency to mess your trail up where the animal's caught plus it, it's a method of uh, leverage for the fox and coyotes for choking them down once they get in the snare all right now he's making the loop size 10 inch loop nine inches off 10 or nine or ten inches off the ground get his wire ready. 14 gauge wire doubled 14 gauge wire doubled if you can't hear him One thing about snaring, folks, while he's doing a double in the wire up, it, it's so fun because you can set on a farm this size. This is one of this is one of our our farms that we have here, and on a farm this size, you could set 50 to 100 snares in here easy, Blind sets. and just without no lure, no bait, no nothing, just setting trails where they run through at. And and as you've seen in the videos in the past, we've already taken six or seven foxes and snares out of here. Um, and we've shot a few of them, and so it's so it's so much fun if you don't know how to snare or get out and do this. It's 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 unbelievably fun. You've got to give it a shot, especially when you get to hang out with your trapping buddy and get to do it. Especially working all the time, I don't get a whole lot of time, but today we do, and here we are. There he goes. He's notice notice how he's making the loop. Let's do that one more time. Notice his hand. His hand's about nine inches, eight and a half to nine inches across. Make it about an inch bigger. Inch that down on there. Get that snare off the ground where you want it. Nine inches off the ground. Zoom it back. Perfect. Log right beside it. What's the reason for the log, you might ask? Helps him to run past it, folks. One more thing here he'll probably do if I know him. Well, Long ago, mine, blockage, coyotes do. One thing you'll notice is where his left foot is, he may take another piece of brush and stick over there because it's wider, but if they're already running the trail, there's no point. Well, folks, as you can see, a total of three minutes and 45 seconds, and he's done. And that's how quick you can get in and out. So he'll they're be checking. They're already using this. What's that? They're already using this here. Okay, they're already using the trail. Yeah. Folks, you stay tuned with JW because he'll be bringing you the action live here in the uh, next few days and showing you these snares that we're showing you set now and showing you what the catch is going to be. So stay tuned and. Uh, Catch you when the action starts. Yep, just like I thought. Right there. Blocks him down. He has no choice but to go through that snare now, folks. The end. Alright. You got him. You ready? As soon as I put my ribbon on. Awesome. Stay tuned, folks. This is actually an open field. And there's um log crossing is here. And yesterday we saw some uh, coyote tracks coming across the log. And I still see my support stick sticking up, so I'm sure there's nothing came across. I actually see the snare also.
right there. Of course, if he gets in the snare, he's going to swing around and knock my stick down. I didn't really have to come over here. But I wanted to show you how we set that and how we blocked off the other two logs there on the sides. Catch you down the road. Alright folks, we're here checking the snares down at the farm. And, uh, a couple days ago I set a snare here and had a uh, red fox walk by it so I narrowed it down a little bit and uh, got Mr. Coon over there in the set. Now let's walk up a little closer here. He's a pretty big dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he tore this place up. <laughs> I have to fix it back. Alright. You're watching Stevens Family Outdoors. Have a great day. Come over here and straight in on it. As I said, this is number 19, and this is where I caught the coon yesterday. Hey folks, JW again, we're down at the farm, checking snares again today, and uh, I'm down here at the noisy traffic spot, and I wanted to share with you here what we had. Remember the snare that was underneath of the uh, tree? Well, got Mr. Coon or Mrs. Coon. So, <laughs> I want to go ahead and take care of this fella and we'll be back with you. Have a great day. Here's the remake after I just caught that coon. Back under the log again. Ten inch circle for coyotes. Peekaboo. Boy, did you mess that up. Okay. Get you on the way back out. folks at JW here down at the farm and this is uh, the last day that I'm going to be snaring down here this season I'm pulling my snares today and uh, I already seen what's in the snare I thought I'd walk up here and let you have a peek at it this 
set the snare in this uh, old cattle trail and uh, of course there are no cattle in here now and the last snow we got we saw some coyote tracks coming through here been that's been over a week ago uh, closer to two weeks maybe and finally uh, a little bit of did catch a red fox here but um, this coyote here was snagged in this trail going right through there got him right around the throat right behind the ears and he did not last long good humane kill so I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the trap and there will be no remake because I'm going to go ahead and um, pull these today so um, this is JW Stevens Family Outdoors. You have a great day and God bless.